The next concept is write the following complex numbers in the form of A plus IB. Here some numbers are given. Now we have to convert each, con each complex number in the form of A plus IB. So first we are starting the first problem. I am taking this value as Z now. Z is equals to minus root 3 plus root minus 2 into 2 root 3 minus i and this is equals to minus root 3 plus root 2 i square in place of minus we take i square into 2 root 3 minus i and this is equals to minus root 3 plus root 2 i since root i square equals to i into 2 root 3 minus i and this is now taking the product here minus root 3 into minus 2 root 3 minus 6 minus root 3 into minus i plus root 3i. Next root 2i into 2 root 3 that is i into 2 root 6 root 2 into root 3 root 6. Next value root 2i into minus a minus root 2i square. Now this is minus 6 plus root 3i plus i into 2 root 6 minus i square is equal to minus 1 so it becomes plus root 2. Now this is minus 6 plus root 2 plus taking i common here i into root 3 plus 2 root 6. Now, which is in the form of A plus IB. Now, compare with A plus IB. The values of A plus here. A is equals to minus 6 plus root 2. We are taking the real part. Real part is here. Real part is minus 6 plus root 2. And B is equal to root 3 plus 2 root 6. Now, this is the A plus IB form of the given complex number. Now, coming to the second problem. Second sum. Minus 5i into i by 8 and this is equals to minus 5 i square by 8 i into i i square but i square is equal to minus 1 so it becomes 5 by 8 and 5 by 8 can be taken as 5 by 8 plus i into 0 5 by 8 means it contains only the real part here there is no imaginary part so we are writing that this one this term is 5 5 by 8 plus i into 0 now we compare this this number with, with the complex number a plus i b then what are the values of a comma b? a is equals to 5 by 8 and the value of b is equals to 0. In this value part, real part. Now third sum solution, i power 9. So i power 9, now we have to convert this term in the form of a plus ib. See, already we know the value of i square only. From using that value i square, we have to convert this term. So that is, we want to change this given number in the form of in the powers of 2. But this is the odd number. We are writing the even number form first. That is, we take i power 9 as i power 8 into i. So first we are writing the even power term here and write the remaining value there. And this is i power 8. i power 8 can be taken as now i square power 4 into i. So here we take the even power for this purpose. To make it in the form of i square power someone, we write in the even power here. And what is i square value? Minus 1. Minus 1 whole power 4 into i and minus 1 whole power 4 is equal to plus 1 since this is the even number. So 1 into i is equal to i. Now this is taken as 0 plus i into 1. So i means it has only imaginary part. For, for, the, for the real part, we, there is no real part here. So that's why you take 0 here. 0 plus i into y. Now we compare this complex number with a plus i b. Then what are the values of a comma b? a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1. Now fourth sum, fourth sum solution, fourth sum solution, the, here the fourth problem is i power minus 19, here also first we are, we are taking this term as z, z is equal to, we are taking the given number as z first, z is equal to i power minus 19 and we write this i power minus 19 as 1 by i power 19 since here we have the negative number in the power so we are removing that negative number by taking 1 by 1 by i power 19 here also we, we want to form the power 2 term in the k denominator that is first for that first we take here i power 18 into i and this is equals to 1 by i power 18 value i square whole power 9 into i and this is 1 by i square value minus 1, minus 1 whole power 9 and this, oh, minus 1 whole power 9 into i and this is minus 1 by minus 1 whole power 9 is equal to minus, minus i. Now this is not in the form of a plus ib since it contains i term in the denominator. So to remove the i term in the denominator we, we rationalize this term that is we are multiplying this value, we have the value i pay to, the, to this fraction then it becomes i pi 
minus i square minus i square is equal to plus 1 i square is equal to minus 1 minus i square is equal to plus 1 so finally it returns the answer i and we, re we write this i as 0 plus i into 1 and next we are comparing this number with the term a plus i b then what are the values of a comma b here also a is equal to 0 and the value of b is equal to 1 write the conjugate of the complex number 5i by 7 plus i so conjugate con to write the conjugate of the given complex number first of all we have to convert this in the form of x plus i y and what is the conjugate of the conjugate of the complex number x plus i y x minus i y simply we change the sign of the imaginary part to get the conjugate of the given complex number for that first we take the given complex number here that is 5i by 7 plus i which is taken as shared and to change this number in the form of x plus i we take the rationalization with 7 minus i i by 7 minus i and this is 5 now we take the product 5i into 7 35i minus 5i into i 5i squared by 7 a plus 1 10 minus b 49 minus i squared and this is equal to 35i i i squared is equal to minus 1 so minus of minus plus 5 by 49 plus 1 i square minus 1 minus of minus plus 1 and this is 35i plus 5 by 50. And taking 5 common from the numerator, then 7i plus 1 by 50. Now it is cancelled by 10 times. So this is equals to 7i plus 1 by 10. Now this is taken as 1 by 10 plus 7i by 10, which is in the form of x plus y by. Now we are taking the conjugate to this complex number. Therefore, conjugate of z is equals to therefore conjugate of z is equals to z bar and z bar is equals to 1 by 10 minus 7 i by 10 that's all